Yeah. Yeah, very yes. nice. Isn't it good news about Lily Savage? Yes. Opening in prison. Yeah, well congratulations. Well done. Congratulations, well done, Lily. Lily. Real star. Can't wait to have you back free tickets to the show. Yeah, yeah. we want to come down. <laughs> Richard and Brian are cooking. There's a beautiful smell in yeah. here. I love yes. pumpkin. Mm. The one and only Chris, Chris Banning! We meet regularly. We do, show, yes. We? And you two are always presenting it when yeah. I'm on it. Which I know. Is good. Lucky you. You did some wonderful, I, lucky man, wonderful impressions last time because yes. you used to do Brilliant. the voices for Spitting Image. That's didn't right, you? and I'm not going to do them this time. Oh, give, hey, me, a, oh, give me a John oh, Major. Well. Give me a John Major. Wow. No, I, wa I want to make it quite clear. That's all I can do, John. That's yeah, I'll do one. <laughs> That'll keep me happy. Because I, I had to do one last week uh, as well. a phone competition. It was awful. I sort of could it? have done Jimmy Savile or, or uh, that other guy. What's his name? Tommy Cooper. Um, uh, Tom, no, Tom O'Connor. No, oh, don't no. Look at the dirt. Larry that one. Larry Larry Grace. Grace. Larry Grace. Can you do Tom O'Connor? Oh, no, now they're guys and girls. Goodness gracious, the one and only Danny <laughs> Offerberry. <laughs> can, can you do Tom O'Connor? Because I don't know what. Tom O'Connor. Well, he's just fairly sort of straight Liverpool. That's sort of brilliant. Yeah. Yes, yes. Very that's good. tune in five. Or whatever. Yeah, very good. Right. Excellent. What's hey, that? Hey, right, yes, we've got some funny haircuts anyway. That's okay. all I've seen, yes. What you got? Fred West got a few funny ones, but we're not <laughs> supposed to mention Fred West, are we? So, but Ken Morley's get the uh, sort of Peter so Sellers eagle. Look at that. There we go. A gallery of uh, wow. terrible How hairstyles. He's hilarious, cool. is he? He is God, so, he's funny. so funny. I How's like this one. <laughs> hey, look at that. How's the show going, Keith? Uh, he's doing a stage show, isn't he? But yeah. he's had a few problems selling tickets. Right. Uh, a bit of a shame. Um, but they always sort of like exaggerate things in the paper, don't they? They do. They sort of say things like, oh, the tickets aren't selling very well. But nine times out of ten, those shows are sort of like uh, people just turn up on the night. Yeah. There's That's no it. advanced booking. Yeah. So, so we wish Ken lots of luck with that. Yep. Good, Good luck with your stage shows. What have you got, Keith? Halloween. Prevalent at the moment, because it is Halloween. And um, the Daily Star have uh, given 31 tricks that are top top all over the world. Uh, some interesting ones. Um, pie scented lavender, or pie, pie, pumpkin pie with lavender, is said to be a devilish aphrodisiac, it says here. Um, right. I say. Right. Don't say that. <laughs> and look at this, a schoolboy, George Clark, age 10. I say, A schoolboy, age 10, was ordered to take home his Halloween display because it was too evil. To be evil. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what ten-year-olds get up to, isn't it? Um, a, 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 a very sad one here because a New Zealand trucker uh, called Jerry Culpin was killed when a giant pumpkin fell on him. No. Fascinating it's stuff. Tragic. Yeah. Uh, very tragic. And hang on, we'll, I'm going to move on with food because there's uh, an interesting thing here in the paper. Joe you know Egon Rone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, yes. No, no. He's a good food guide and he travels all over the world. Well, he's been uh, doing a, a, a gruel survey on um, motorway service stations and restaurants. He says they're absolutely appalling. Yeah. Well, had a, it, yeah. had a horrendous time, it says. Uh, he says that there's armoured plated fish and uncuttable liver, <laughs> carrots with the constituency yeah. of a wet sponge, or consistency, <laughs> mushy peas <laughs> tasting like they're out of the sink, and tea like dishwater. Yeah. And he's saying that the average price of a cup of tea is £1.20. No. For a motorway? Yeah, for a motorway service oh, station. Yeah. And the coffee is £1.30. No. It's a lot of money. Well, I actually know uh, that, uh, you know, coach drivers and lorry drivers, yeah. they're given incentives to actually take their coaches into service stations. Oh. Uh, well, no, no, uh, somebody's shouting allegedly in here, but I know this is a fact. <laughs> it's not allegedly. Coach drivers are given incentives like free meals and the odd voucher and things, not all of them, um, to actually take coaches in there so people will eat at those places, you see. So, bit of a rip-off. And that's just my opinion, no one else's. <laughs> not Channel 4's, not the big breakfast, just Keith Chegwin's. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> and uh, Patrick Swayze is it's in the house tomorrow. Is in the house tomorrow. Swayze. 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 Tomorrow. Dancing. I'm going to have to wear my badge. He was just stunning and dirty dancing. <laughs> hey? He was just stunning and dirty dancing. Yeah, wasn't he good? Dirty dancing, Chris? I loved it. I loved it. It's a good film, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And he was in a film about a road... Uh, was it Roadhouse? What was it called? Yeah. Roadhouse? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was yeah. good. Point, he was yeah. good in Point Break as well. Yeah. But we just love you, We Patrick. like Patrick we Swayze. Love big fans, all of us. Because Danny and I are dirty dancing tomorrow. He's a dirty dancer. <laughs> 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 okay. It says here that more than 2,000 Patrick Swayze fans brought London's ah! Leicester Square to a standstill last night as he and his wife Lisa arrived for the premiere of Two Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julia Newmar, in which he stars in drag. It says here, there's a lovely little classic line here Patrick Swayze, 42, wearing trousers. <laughs> Great journalism. <laughs> <laughs> Says my wife looks much better than I do in a dress. Lovely. There you go. I'd be worried if he did. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. 
My next guest is star guest Chris Barry, who is probably best known for his roles in Red Dwarf and um, what else are you known for? Oh, I don't know. I can't British remember. Empire, British Empire, of course. <laughs> and, I've, and I've lost, I've lost all my questions on you. I've lost all my questions. No, Have here you? we go. No, um... Britain's Empire is so funny. Britain's? Britain's. Brit 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 Empire. Is it? Well, it yes, it's good fun to do. Do you as enjoy well. playing that role? Yeah. Well, we're doing it now at the moment. It's great fun. Yeah, it's like a sort of. Uh, we've done it for six years, so we're all very happy about it, and it's good, easy, and lovely, and fun, and all that business. And you base your character, didn't you, on, on one of your neighbours, or? Uh, yes, I've said this so many times that I based it on a purple person I worked for, and uh, the voice anyway. But obviously, he doesn't speak like that. But he, I exaggerated it and made it that much worse. He sort of spoke a bit like that, really. Does he know you based it on him? Probably not. I'm still alive, so um, <laughs> he can't. Obviously not then. <laughs> exactly. No. He'll now, as we just said before, you, you, well, many people might not have known this. Not a lot of people know this, but uh, you also did the impressions and the voices for Spitting Image, didn't you? Goodness you did. gracious, yes. Who did you do? T tell us all the, the voices you did. Um, I, I did a Ronald Reagan. Uh, I did Kenneth Williams. Um, and I did uh, David Coleman, and um, <laughs> John Cole, and uh, who else did I do around that time? What did Jim Callahan all those eons ago? And uh, Michael Foot, we are ah, um, and um, <laughs> I did um, Barry Norman. That is, sense is why. So basically, all of all the ones that all the other impressionists did. Did you did you ever offend anyone with your impersonations? No, a lot, lots of people said that we, we weren't like them, but uh, then they would say that. Someone, of course. I mean, lots of people do an impression of me, and apparently, I mean, they sort of go, "Hello, my name is uh, Chris Barry, uh, and I talk like this." I don't think I do talk like that, but maybe I do. No, you don't. Don't I? Thank you. No. Good. Good. <laughs> now, you just brought out a video called Chris Barry's Motoring Will Nuts. That's it. <laughs> Tell us about that, and is it ever going to be on TV? Well, I don't know, really. Um, here it is. That's the nearest it'll probably get to being on TV. Um, and actually, I'm not, this is not a hard sell as it looks, because it's easy if I point out the characters. That chap there is Sir Marmaduke, who impregnates chambermaids and gets completely smashed out of his head, basically. <laughs> um, this chap here is sort of like a Leslie Phillips, hello, ding dong, type character. <laughs> Uh, this bloke here is very angry all the time. He suffers from road rage, like most of us do, right. you see. Um, and he's like a sort of hippie who likes to rub eucalyptus oil on the engine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's Vic Beresford, who's a distant friend of Britta's, who's Excellent. really boring and has a Vendor Plow So basically, it's just a lot of characters all to do with the cars. And yes. <laughs> and is it, is it stereotyped cars with, with characters? Um, yes. Oh. I mean, Roger Road Rage drives a Ford Probe. Because right. it's, you know, it's an uh, <laughs> extension to his ego. Uh, and actually, the big surprise is Marmaduke, because he's supposed to have sort of a Bentley. collection of vintage Bentleys, right. yes. But, haha, <laughs> big gag, he doesn't. He has uh, an E-type. Uh, so that's the kind of chap he is, yeah. yes. um, And who else? Oh, his dad, that chap there, but his, his wife's got Suzuki. Suzuki. Suzuki oh. Vitale. <laughs> Suzuki Vitale. No, you, I can't you, why people buy these old cars. <laughs> you've got, you've got you a bit drive, of a car freak as well, aren't you? Because you, you've got a big collection. I've got a few old bangers. Pretty young man. Yeah, old, old bangers. bangers. Yeah. yeah. Come on, tell us what you've got. You've got well, a, I actually lovely have. Classic. I've got an E-Type Jaguar. I have. Is that I'm yours? Confessed. That's featured yes. in the video. Yes. But it's an old wreck. It looks much better on the photograph than it does in my garage, and a few other things. Now, Red Dwarf, you've got a big fo fan following, and both here and across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be another series? There is going to be another series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, they're making it, or we're making it, or someone's making it. I don't know. I haven't. Done any and signed up? British for Empire. Yet, when's the new series of that start? Next year. Next year. But there's a repeat of the fourth series going out. So uh, we're basically going to be seeing you a lot on our TV screens. Possibly. Next year. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Thanks for being in the house. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have enjoyed myself. Do you yes. Want to go and tuck into all that good food over there before uh, camera crew aren't allowed any because uh, it's just the bacon goes and away. eggs. Bacon like, and eggs. Are they? Are they next uh, door. We'll yeah? have to see if they can ruffle up some of those few. But I'll get some pumpkin okay. and thingy, whatever. All it is. right. Now I think it's time at eight fifty-eight to go over to Peter Smith with the final big bruise, big bruise, <laughs> big news <laughs> <and> weather. <laughs> Closing headlines.